Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for Virgo, Summer Rising Venus. You can check out your other placements for additional messages. As this is a general reading, so messages may or may not apply. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't for the next person. We're going to take a look to see what messages need to come through for you guys for the week ahead. See what you guys could be currently dealing with as well as what you can expect. Get some insight, wisdom, guidance, and overall see what's going on for Virgo, Summer Rising Venus for the week ahead. I hope you guys are doing well. If you guys are interested, you can follow me over on my Instagram at jadestonetarot. And let's get right into this reading for Virgo, Summer Rising Venus. For the week ahead, I hope you guys are doing well. As I was actually getting into your energy, it was feeling really positive. Like, I don't know. I think you guys could be celebrating something or something really exciting could be coming up. So stay tuned. I'm excited to see what cards have to say. The cards have to say. Oh my god, if I can speak properly. Um, so let's get right into this reading for Virgo, Summer Rising Venus for the week ahead. Any messages for Virgo, please? Virgo, Summer Rising Venus. What's going on for Virgo? Summarizing Venus for this upcoming week. What's going on? Any insight, wisdom, guidance for Virgo? Okay, let's see. <sighs> Any messages for Virgo? Summarizing Venus for this upcoming week? Oh, what did I say? What did I say? I was picking up on some celebratory, exciting, fun energy. We have the otter coming out. Now, this is the happiest card in the animal spirit deck. We also have the tiger coming out some reflective energy let's get one more for virgo summarizing venus for the week ahead oh the dolphin okay blessings to you blessings are coming we got lots of planets finally stationing direct this month um i'm excited we have mercury going direct in like a day we have jupiter going direct we just had saturn go direct and i think pluto's going direct like oh, finally it's just like a breath of fresh air things are going to be picking up um, we also have the mouse at the bottom as well as a hawk and the dragon. Okay, you know what's funny? The hawk, don't hawks eat mice? I swear they do. I know they do. Aren't they? Like, don't they eat? Anyways, um, there's like definite changes coming to you. We have the dragon underneath that. This talks about your life path and the direction you're going down. This is spirit energy outcome. This is spirit energy coming out. You have important changes coming and you might be a bit afraid. You might be a bit scared. You're like, what do you mean there's going to be changes? I have, to, I have to plan. I have to get organized, right? I have to make sure I got all my T's crossed, my I's dotted. Like, I got to make sure I have a plan outfit for every single day like you know it's like you like to have things organized and the divine universe is just like surprise surprise so yeah i don't know what's going on but it feels very fun very exciting very positive and i really like it a lot so i just need to set this cards let me set this here okay all right so let's break this down we got double water energy coming out as well as fire um, so we do have some celebratory energy going out with your friends or being with your loved ones. We also have energy about you guys just kind of being alone and just processing everything. And then we have the dolphin, just like this beautiful energy. You're radiating uh, just like a bright light shining, you know, it's like a star shining brightly in the sky. You look up, uh, you look up in the sky and there's like that bright ass star. You got all these other stars, but they're not as bright as this one. It's just like, that's the dolphin for you, you know, they're like a, a, a beacon of light. That's what you guys feel like this week. You guys just feel excited. Your energy is just radiating. Like, I think you're in a really good mood. Maybe you've received some sort of good news or you're just feeling good for no reason. You're like, what the hell's going on? Like, it's kind of scary. I'm good for no reason. Like, what is this? You know, <laughs> that's kind of what it feels like here. But it feels exciting i think you're going to be accomplishing a lot this week i also feel like you're going to be touching people's hearts the dolphin is the energy of making a difference in people's lives whoa my dog is snoring like crazy and she's like making like a whistle <laughs> like damn girl so maybe take that as confirmation um it's like <whistles> you're looking hot <laughs> you know <laughs> it's just like damn virgo what you do did you get your hair done you start working out like you're glowing you know you're just like shining brightly i really am liking this okay Oh, I'm like getting so excited you guys. I don't even know. I feel like I'm just going in circles. Let's break this down here So the otter is this happy energy to be in Talks about being around your friends your family feeling supported and like no longer feeling restricted And that's what's going on here with all these planets finally stationing direct after a long retrograde season 
finally things are starting to move finally things are picking up you're seeing uh, progress in your hard work in whatever it is that you've been investing your time and energy in. like there are no more blockages there are no restrictions you're finally able to fly forward and you're feeling more inspired it's like you just keep seeing results and the more you see results the more addicting it becomes and so you just keep it up and it's exciting and there's some sort of celebration or this is very like celebratory energy so I think if you've been working really hard at trying to get towards something whether this is a personal goal or a financial goal relationship goal like it's just gonna pay off and you're gonna be so proud of yourself you should be proud of yourself already but you're just it's like reaching a checkpoint and you're just you're able to just take a step back and look at everything that you've done so far and everything you've accomplished and just be like wow i fucking did that you know it feels really good you guys and so we have this reflective energy the tiger fire energy coming out also Pay attention to your intuition. Intuition is on point. Don't doubt it. Don't second guess it. Believe it. Trust it. It is guiding you. All right. And we did have that spirit energy coming through. So it's just like the divine's around you. The divine is supporting you. Everything's just falling magically into place. It's not even magic, but it feels like magic. You know, it's just, it's meant to be. Anyways, the tiger is this kind of um, silent, solo energy. So this week ahead, it's definitely like take the time out for yourself to just sit and contemplate and like look at everything that you've done so far and spend some time journaling and just process your thoughts and your emotions if you feel like you gotta cry even some happy tears fucking do that like just it feels like emotionally overwhelming but in a positive way where if you just shed a tear and you're so proud of yourself like it just feels um it's very it's a very emotional energy right and as we do have the crescent moon moon is a very feminine energy as well the tiger is like tapping into your feminine side doesn't matter what you identify as we all carry masculine feminine energies just is more just like a creation and emotional kind of energy to be in it's just it's very intense but it's also very passionate and it's very fiery and fierce and just to be bold you know no more holding yourself back no more restricting yourself no more telling yourself like i can't do it like yes you can you're realizing your potential and you're really stepping into that this week and even recently like not even just this week but you know this build up it didn't happen overnight you didn't just like go from this this mouse that was so fearful of change to being like okay fuck it let's go like it definitely was an ongoing process for you but you've overcome a lot and you've learned so many lessons and um the divine sees that oh wow underneath the dragon we have the eagle the eagle is such a like a divinely orchestrated energy going through massive transformation right eagles they go through um like physical change once they reach a certain age like halfway through their life where their whole beak like breaks off and like transforms and it's excruciating for them right it's a it's the hardest transformation an eagle goes through and that's kind of what you guys have recently gone through. So like you guys have gone through such a challenging time that really taught you a lot about yourself. And now you're on the other side of that that fence. You're on, you're out of the tunnel, that dark ass tunnel. And now you're able to shine bright as well as help others and guide others and like just share what you've gone through. You're able to help others with your experiences. And this is just like a very supportive, shining, bright, loving, nurturing, compassionate energy. It just it's it's super healing to be around you. You're radiating this positive, nurturing, healing energy and it's addicting and people love it and people might be more drawn to you as of recently you might have noticed like people are like hitting you up more or like you're bumping into strangers and they're just opening up to you and like you don't even know them but your energy is just very beautiful it feels very positive and like i can't stop smiling i know you can't see me right now but like my face kind of hurts from smiling oh my god <laughs> so we're gonna pull some tarot messages and see what is going on we're actually gonna clarify why these cards came out to see like what is going on but this is some really pure wholesome energy virgo and i'm loving it and i'm so happy for you so let's look Look into the otter for Virgo summarizing Venus for the week ahead. Inside the otter for Virgo summarizing Venus. <sighs> Just feels like wow. I don't know. <laughs> I love it though. Tell me the otter for Virgo summarizing Venus. Okay, no, that was me. I'm not gonna take that. I'm not gonna take that because I literally knocked that out. Tell me the otter for Virgo summarizing Venus. Okay. Tell me the otter for Virgo. 
Thank you. Ace of Swords. You're seeing things clearly. Massive breakthrough in your perspective. Kind of the otter. We also have the Six of Cups. Whoa, that's a really fun energy in this deck especially. Kind of the otter for Virgo. Summer Rising Venus for the week ahead. Ace of Wands. Oh, wow. Two aces, y'all. <laughs> Tell me the otter for Virgo. Summer Rising Venus. Okay, what do we have here? Queen of Pentacles Reverse. Okay, and let's get one more for the otter. Page of Swords. Oh, wow. Wow. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Swords, the Fool, and the Two of Cups Reverse, and the Devil. Oh, so some of you recently gone through a breakup. Like, that's just kind of what I'm feeling. Some of you gone through a breakup where the relationship that you were in had you doubting yourself so much, where you were constantly, like, criticized, where you were always told, like, you were wrong, or, like, you were never good enough, like, you weren't appreciated. And so we have this Queen of Pentacles Reverse energy where there was lots of, like, lack of confidence confidence insecurities feeling ungrounded feeling like uncertain of yourself and so that was i feel like this is past energy because we do have that six of cups coming out now i'm getting like a couple different messages with the six of cups but i do feel like as if a lot of you during this retrograde season not just mercury retrograde but like we had how many planets retrograding like five or six i can't even remember but there was a lot of times to reflect and look back at past times and past memories and even looking back at a time where you were in a toxic relationship where you shrunk yourself where you felt like you couldn't be your truest self where you had to pretend to be something that you weren't it was restricting your own personal growth it was restricting you maybe you even really lost yourself you had a hard time really finding your truest authenticity right anyways it was really restricting it was really limiting and it was hard to break out of but it looks like as of like a while back or maybe recent past there was a split or there was some sort of ending here the two of cups reverse and then the fool and the knight of swords so it's like there was some sort of breakaway you broke away from something that was unhealthy that was toxic as fuck and it was damaging you um anyway so with the fool and the knight of swords this is the energy of moving forward quickly fastly and stepping out into the unknown territory and so basically it's like recently basically it's like you guys are finally like freeing yourself from that and so we have the ace of swords the six of cups so this is about looking back at the past with a new set of glasses like imagine um maybe some of you have recently got new glasses getting your eyes tested or like i don't know that's like the most random message but hey like maybe that's something that you are scheduling you're like i gotta get new glasses mine are all scratched and like maybe you recently broke your glasses i don't know maybe that's a message for somebody but um with the ace of swords and the six of cups it's like looking back at past times with a completely different outlook a new perspective here even with the page of swords it's like you are uncovering some sort of truth here about a time where you felt like insignificant where you felt insecure here and were really hard on yourself and maybe you'd beat yourself up maybe you didn't believe in yourself anyways you're looking back at times and even past relationships that had you in that energy and now you are having major breakthroughs and you're realizing things about yourself that you didn't realize back then and you were just undergoing like massive transformation it's insane but now like you're feeling much more lighthearted. you're feeling much more happier when we look at the six of cups like you know there's all these children it's like tapping into your inner child and having fun and being playful and so this is clarifying the otter it's like being around those that you love those where you feel like you can be your most authentic self and be foolish and have fun be foolish and be silly and just like laugh and enjoying life and so like there's this major like shift going on here anyways we have the ace of wands lots of passion for life lots of excitement lots of inspiration and you're no longer feeling stuck you're no longer feeling restricted you're no longer feeling like you have to like shrink yourself you finally have like broken out of some sort of toxic situation now it's just life feels so much more colorful whoa wow that is intense you guys who feels like it feels a lot and so that would make sense why we have the tiger energy coming through it's just like feeling stuck feeling unhappy feeling insecure and just like doubting yourself and you're reflecting on like how much is changing you're like blown away like damn like i really have gone through such a massive change you definitely should be proud of yourself okay so let's take a look into the tiger i feel like this is more like kind of hermity four of swords like self-reflection and just like you know journaling how far you've come and processing everything right probably the tiger 
for Virgo, summarizing Venus for the week ahead. Tell me the, <clears throat> the tiger for Virgo, summarizing Venus. Tell me the tiger for Virgo, summarizing Venus for the week ahead. Tell me the tiger for Virgo. Whoa. We have the Nine of Cups. Wow. Wow. Like, really, you're looking over at the, your manifestation. You're like, bitch, I did that. <laughs> yeah, you did that. Tony of the Tiger for Virgo. We've got the Queen of Swords reversed. So another queen that came out reversed and the Two of Pentacles. Tony of the Tiger for Virgo. Summarizing Venus. We also have the King of Swords reversed. Okay, so there's like definitely like a pair over here. Um, probably about that relationship. Again, could be romantic, could be a friendship, family, doesn't matter. We also had, oh, wow, a King of Pentacles reverse. So now we, def we definitely have a pair of Seven of Cups reverse. Whoa! We have the Moon, Five of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, another Ace, you guys. Another Ace. We had three Aces come out in this reading. And underneath that, Queen of Cups. Really beautiful energy. So first of all, I just have to point out that we had a Queen of Pentacles reverse. Now we have a King of Pentacles reverse. So there's a... a perfect pair more like perfect toxic pair <laughs> like you know totally bring out the worst in each other <laughs> like i'm just saying and then we have um another king to the queen both reversed bringing out the worst of each other like oh my god anyway so that's probably relating to that two cups reverse with the devil it's just like a relationship that was so fucking unhealthy like man like for both people all right for both sides like ew. oh my god anyways so this is okay so the tiger very reflective energy going inward spending some time like journaling and being with your thoughts and just like doing lots of thinking and processing and feeling your emotions and also tuning in with your intuition about like the lesson that you learned and like knowing better now and so as you are spending the time reflecting you're you're getting clarity here seven of cups reverse you see things much differently again that page of swords ace of swords that came out earlier you're looking back at these relationships that you were in this could be more than one right this could be one relationship this could be another relationship or maybe this is just like one gigantic <laughs> relationship that you're reflecting on but where you're just like wow that person really brought out the worst in me or like they really triggered me but if it wasn't for them i wouldn't be where i am today i've learned so much about myself and you know yada 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 like but there you're spending a lot of time reflecting um and as you're doing that you're you're having a new point of view a new perspective you're seeing things clearly and Yeah, just like if it wasn't for that crappy breakup, if it wasn't for that heartbreak, if it wasn't for that loss, that experience, you wouldn't be where you are today, all right? And so magically, everything had brought you into balance with where you're supposed to be. And so you're looking back, you're reflecting with this tiger energy, you're doing a lot of reflection on like, kind of like butterfly effect. If it wasn't for this one action, if it wasn't for the situation, I, you know, everything would be completely different. For better or for worse who knows but all i know is that this is where i am today it's meant to be i don't know just that's kind of what it feels like and so you're looking at how much you've changed as a person you're like wow i really did that i really overcame my struggles and now look at where i am wish is coming true <sighs> self-fulfillment like this is like such an independent energy too with the nine of cups so yeah, it's like shout out to your ex or whoever broke your heart because um, they taught you a lot about yourself and you know yourself much more, you know your worth, you know your value. And so we have the moon, five of pentacles, ace of pentacles at the bottom as well as the queen of cups. So, all right, so then we have the moon, Piscean energy again, like just doing a lot of that underworld reflection, healing, introspection. All right, so let's take a look into the dolphin. For Virgo, summarizing Venus. Tell me about the dolphin, please. Whoa, I said that weird. Please tell me about the dolphin. For Virgo, summarizing Venus for the week ahead. Tell me about the dolphin for Virgo strength wow oh i'm just kidding that's a whale <laughs> i was like yo for saying i was like oh my god a dolphin no but like you know still very similar energies very deep 
emotions. Okay, time of the dolphin for Virgo, summarizing Venus. Nine of Swords. Wow. Time of the dolphin for Virgo. Summarizing Venus. We also have the devil. And this fell on top of the the devil literally fell on top of the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Those insecurities. When you're at your lowest, when you're at your weakest, this is this is what you overcome. Let's talk about oh wow. This is so, this reading is powerful, you guys. We also have the Seven of Wands reverse. All right, and give me one more for the Dolphin, for Virgo. Anything else for the Dolphin? Thank you. The Moon, perfect. All right. <sighs> okay. So we have Capricorn energy out. We also have Piscean as well as Leo. So this is what you've overcome. We have, wait, what was the first card out? Strength, right? So you guys have overcome a lot of struggles. And since this is clarifying the dolphin, it's like you're finally going to be rewarded for all the work you've done, all the healing that you've done, um, and even breaking away from that toxic cycle or that toxic relationship, right? Because the devil did fall on top of that queen of pentacles reverse. Those restrictions, those limitations, those fears, whatever that was holding you back, it took a lot of strength for you to overcome it, but you did it. And now it's like what you've learned from that experience. Not only can you use that moving forward for your own personal growth and like just knowing better now and never ending up in that same situation, but you can also help others with what you've learned and being able to help guide others, help teach others and just like sharing what you know, sharing with your experiences and being able to teach others through them, right? And then we have the moon and the seven of wands reversed. It's like, I feel as if you are able to express yourself freely. Because when we look at the moon, she's like almost singing, singing, right? Maybe some of you have something to do with music. You're a singer or a songwriter or you produce music or you play music or you really just connect with music. Um, maybe some of you are learning how to play like instruments or something like that. Maybe maybe that's like a, 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 a talent, if I could speak wow. Maybe that's like an unknown talent that you could be discovering. But when we look at the Seven of Wands in this card, in this deck, sorry. It's like feeling judged, feeling on alert, feeling like you don't fit in or that you don't belong. Almost feeling like... You couldn't talk about your experiences without people's judgments, but now it's it feels like feels like you can finally express yourself freely without the care of what others think of you, which is massive, right? Whereas before you held yourself back, you felt so restricted, you felt like you couldn't um, you couldn't be your truest self because you're so afraid or because of all these again restrictions and limitations about what this one person said to you or whatever, right? But it just it's so interesting the symbolism here you're no longer biting your tongue or holding back especially if someone did hurt you it's like you're not gonna hold it in or pretend like it never happened like you're gonna speak up about it and you're not afraid to use your voice or even like expressing what you've gone through and channeling it through like art or some form of expression you know it's very powerful um there's definitely just like the energy of you guys surrendering and letting go and no longer like fighting for something that's just not worth it. Um, that's really powerful energy, you guys. And as you are expressing yourself, as you are using your voice and using your abilities and like, it's just, it's super freeing, you know, it helps you. You just get stronger and stronger. You're no longer letting this hold you back. Wow, it's really powerful. Sheesh. Did I check the bottom? Let me see. Oops. Four of swords reversed with the six of swords and the four of pentacles. Moving on. Yeah, there's going to be moments of anxiety and fears over here with the four of swords reversed. There's still a little bit of restlessness, but for the most part, you're not going to allow that to hold you back any longer like you had in the past. We also have the Three of Cups, lots of celebrate, celebration, celebration, what? <laughs> celebration times. And just, again, kind of going back to that otter energy of being with your loved ones and celebrating all the hard work. Sheesh. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to grab a fairy message and wrap this reading up. But I'm proud, you guys. This is a massive, um, massive shift that you guys have gone through. Big change, big, big, big change. Give me a second. 
All right, any fairy messages for Virgo, Summer, Rise, and Venus regarding this weekly reading? Any fairy messages for Virgo, Summer, Rise, and Venus regarding this weekly reading? Fairy messages for Virgo, Summer, Rise, and Venus regarding this reading. Take a look ahead. Any fairy messages for Virgo? Okay, the deck really doesn't want to shuffle anymore, so must be ready. Messages for Virgo, summarizing Venus for the week ahead. We have the Singer of Initiation. This card has been popping up for so many signs and so many readings. This has been like a reoccurring card. Number nine, the Singer of Initiation. So you guys are initiating something this week. Something is starting up. You're planting a seed. You're planting an intention. And this is what's going to create massive change for you. Something new starting here. Uh, we have the full moon in Aries, I believe, on the 20th. It's a super blood moon. And so this is kind of just like massive endings, the completion of a cycle so that something better can come in. This talks about the need for you guys to remain open-minded and receptive to new possibilities, new opportunities, and doors that are opening up for you. Definitely follow your gut. Give these ideas that you have a chance. Trust it. Follow it. Believe it. Try not to allow these fears or past beliefs, especially self-limiting beliefs or um, things that you were taught to believe about yourself, especially regarding past relationships. Don't let um, past judgments get in the way of these new things that are coming in because they're coming in because it's meant for you and that there's something amazing attached to it on the other side. So to really trust your own judgment, trust your intuition, of course. You know, this does look like a little crescent moon. Um, but yeah, it's like you're initiating something this week and it's going to be beautiful. I'm going to pull one more card. That's number nine. So like that final push. Any other fairy messages for Virgo, summarizing Venus? We also have She of the Crouch. No, this card's been coming out too. <laughs> this is number three. Oh, just kidding. Number five. Five is symbolic of change. Okay. Massive change. So She of the Crouch. This is... Um, Kind of like Empress energy, something that is getting closer to be born. This is about nurturing your ideas, nurturing yourself, so that when you plant that seed, it can grow and sprout. So making sure that you have your garden in like a well-lit area, you're giving it enough water, right? You're nurturing the seed that you plant so that you can initiate it and be successful. So it's like getting the right ingredients before you go and create that dish, like having all that you need and researching enough and having a plan to back you up so that when you initiate whatever this idea is it can really grow and expand towards something that will pay off in the end and so she had the crouch this is like the need to nurture yourself the need to nurture your ideas anything that you're trying to get off the ground keep it up keep your consistency believe in yourself you got this like this is some really beautiful energy you guys i'm just gonna see what's at the bottom she the fairy the fairy godmother wishes do come true and there's again that crescent moon right very intuitive very spiritual very wise too you notice the owl in the back like blessings and good good luck is coming your way luck is on your side I, i'm feeling like sag energy from this maybe jupiter going direct is really going to benefit you especially like look at your sagittarius placements like look at the house sag is in and with um Sag and Pisces, yeah. Check where Sagittarius and Pisces lie in your chart. I think you're going to see massive expansion in those areas. So just, you can Google it, you can look up what the house represents, and just kind of get an idea as to where you may see this transit play out for you. So keep that in mind. So Virgo, that is what I got for you guys for this reading. If you guys found this helpful or insightful, please let me know in the comments below. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and if you guys are interested, you can follow me over on my Instagram at Jade Stone Tarot, and I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.